Once we've done our search, we can take a look at what we've found. I can click on the title of this first article to get more information about it. It will give me an abstract or summary of what it's about to help me decide if it's relevant to my topic. It also gives me all the information about the author, publication information, and more. You can also click on any of the subjects or descriptors listed here to do a new search for articles with that subject. If the full text of the article is available, it should show up on the left side. You may also see that some articles will have full text from ERIC. This link will take you to the full text of the article in the ERIC Digital Library. You may also see this in the results list. For example, this article, instead of having the full text underneath it, has a link to the full text from ERIC. In some cases, however, the full text of the article may not be available in ERIC. For example, let's take a look at this article. There isn't a link to the PDF full text or full text from ERIC. So I want to check Journal Finder to see if we have the full text somewhere else. So I'll click on Check Journal Finder for full text availability. This will open Journal Finder and tell us whether or not we own this journal. We own this journal and we have online access to it. So I'm going to click on the computer icon to see what issues we have. This tells me that we have access to this journal from 1997 all the way up to the most current issues. This date is important. Sometimes we will not have the issue that you need, especially if the article is very new or very old. This article is from 2011, and because we have all the way up to the most current issue, we should have access to it. I can click on the article title, which should take me to the full text, but sometimes this link doesn't work, and you need to go to the journal homepage to find the volume and issue number that you need. So for this article, I know that I need volume 15, number 6, of 2011. So I can click on the journal title here, which will take me to the journal homepage. Here we have volume 15, and I can go down to issue 6, and scroll through until I see the article that I want. In this case, it's the very first one. From here, I can view or download the full text of the article. Sometimes we simply do not have the journal or particular journal issue that you need. If you click on Journal Finder and get a message like this, then you will need to place an interlibrary loan request for the article. You can click on the ILL link here and fill out the information about the article that you need. Make sure to include your name and email. We will request the article from another library for you and you should receive an email within one to three days informing you that your article is available.